I think we kind of get in over our heads sometimes, like with the Heroes Memorial that did not start off as an eight or nine million dollar project. And then the deeper we go into it, the more we're committed and then the more we end up spending. And so that's always a concern for me. I will not be stopping at 1.5 million in the idea of what we think about this Veterans Memorial. Wherever we get that extra money, public, private donations, our visions are grand for that part. <laughs> and they're grander than 1.5. So I hope that we can achieve those and I believe that we can do that. Uh, it's together. exciting. We're ambitious. Obviously, this is something we've never done before, even at a council meeting. Um, I, I, I'm glad that this council is being very aggressive in, in really making this come to fruition. But council member Dex uh, would talk to me about it as we'd be in meetings and push us to, to try to do something real special about the Veterans Memorial. Uh, I know there was an initial plan of what would happen and what is currently being called Uptown, but you all haven't missed a beat and have stayed right there with, you, with us as we've challenged and, and pushed our ideas forward. The Veterans Memorial had been on our budget and a line item at $10,000 for, for several years. And a special thank you to uh, uh, Momark as well. Because without them, this park wouldn't be possible in the same way. That, uh, that $1.5 million would not go nearly as far if we had to talk about land acquisition for it. This is gonna be a, a very special memorial, not just for our veterans, but for our first responders and for the community. It's gonna give our veterans a sense of pride and it's gonna give our community a sense of pride. And that's something I think that our community is lacking a little bit. We, we want people to be able to come out and say, come to Kyle, this is a beautiful memorial. It's something that catches your eye. And then when you're there, you don't wanna leave. And then once you're, you're there and you're engaging and all the other opportunities for family and education and, and honoring what people have done to give us the opportunity to be there. Yeah, I, those that know me know how much I love this community and um, those that most don't know, um, um, the amount of hours that all of us think about this city and, and, and deal with things. Um, I think but, it's uh, a lot of good work. A lot of great work by all of us up here. A lot of great support, and I appreciate that. But uh, Mayor Pro Tem Coach, uh, with this contract negotiation, I was in awe watching you at work, and um, you were clearly a very savvy uh, contract negotiator and businessman. Um, so I, I definitely appreciated having you on our side because they had Rick <laughs> Froman on their side. <laughs> and so proud of our staff and our council for all the hard negotiations and hard work and time they put into this to make sure that we can provide for not only our police officers, not only for honoring our veterans, but creating great public spaces for our residents. All right, it's been moved by Mayor Pro Tem Coach. It's been seconded by Councilmember Ellison. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? I oppose five and 10. I'm an aye for all the others. Okay. Thank you, thank you, Mayor. Wow. We need a veterans memorial. And we need a big veterans memorial. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, Rick. Uh, no, you're not. But